Hello and welcome friends. Uh, my name is Sanjeev Jain. I am a type 1.5 diabetic and uh, today I am going to tell you uh, about the leverage sensor and how to use the uh, bubble with the leverage sensor. So this is a this is a leverage sensor. So this uh, goes into your arm. So this is the sensor. It goes into your arm like this and uh, so this is uh, normally read using a machine like this. So in India, uh, we get the pro slash H sensor and to get the data, you need to normally scan it like this. And uh, this is, uh, you can see, so this is quite inconvenient. So This is quite inconvenient because, uh, you know, every time you need to see the sugar values, you will have to remember to take out the sensor. And uh, this is a flash monitoring system. So it basically uses NFC. Okay. So it, it has an inbuilt uh, NFC. This thing is a NFC reader and it reads once you bring it close. Okay. And uh, now this here is the is the uh, is the bubble. Okay. It's also called bubble and this is a product from Sweden. Okay. So let me just show you the uh, box. So guys, uh, this this is the uh, box for this. So this is the bubble and sensor. And now the sensor uh, actually gets stuck here like this on top of this. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do this today. And the benefit of this is that at once uh, it gets stuck here on your arm, you can see you can see here the value of your blood sugar right here on the phone. So it's like a widget on an Android phone. You don't even have to uh, open an app. And if you if you do open an app, if you do open an app, so you can see the complete values. So I will do a separate video on the app and how to configure the alarms and things like this. But uh, the uh, important thing is that this is very, very convenient. And uh, this makes it a completely different ball game because then uh, if the sugar goes lower at night or becomes very high or it's uh, increasing or decreasing rapidly, you will get an alarm automatically. Okay. And... Uh, the major issue that people have been facing with this is how to stick it to your arm because uh, unfortunately uh, the st stickers that uh, come with this uh, device so these are the uh, stickers that come with this and these stickers are quite pathetic and uh, uh, you know they come off very easily so they don't last even for two or three days so uh, you know uh, we have been working on this and we found the best technique so first thing is that guys, so this is the sensor and this is a small charging pin that they give with it and this gets stuck like this, it's a magnetic thing and once it is stuck you will see that it will blink red. Once it is fully charged this uh, turns blue, it becomes a solid blue light. So I have fully charged it and uh, so now it is actually ready. So we don't have to wait for it to be, we don't have to be wait for it to be blue and uh, now to stick it to the uh, to your arm and to the sensor so you need to stick it to both the things your arm as well as the sensor we need these things so this is a double sided tape you can buy it off amazon it's a very simple tape there is no foam tape or anything in it it's a very i think it's around uh, you know one centimeter it's a it's one centimeter uh, tape and uh, you can get a 3m this is a transport tape it's called transport you can see there are uh, many you know dots in it so this is actually made uh, for surgical purposes or you can use a regular uh, you know paper tape a paper surgical tape that comes uh, easily from any chemist so uh, first thing that you need to do is to actually cut a small piece of this and uh, I'm going to stick it just take a very small piece like this so you're going to take a very small piece so you don't need a very uh, big piece or anything and just stick it to the inside of the bubble so you can see so this part is this part is the nfc sensor this actually is the antenna and if this is not properly connected so you know what happens that if it is like this or it is like this it will stop working so best thing is to stick it properly okay and now we're going to stick it to the arm so uh, i'm going to remove this and we're going to stick it to the arm but before we do that you have to make one, show, one thing you have to understand that this cannot be like this. There should not be any gap. Okay, so this has to be completely touching it like this. So let us go ahead and uh, remove the remove the remove the tape. So now 
it is ready to be stuck so friends now we have the tape this is ready so uh, i'm going to give it to my wife and she's going to put this here so only thing she has to ensure is that uh, uh, there is no gap there is no gap So this uh, is now stuck to the sensor nicely as you can see and uh, this tape is pretty solid actually so uh, this way it is perfectly ready to go. Next thing we can do here guys is first we can uh, just uh, check on the device whether you know this is working or not so we can simply say add CGM select Abbott and simply scan and uh, since this is ready to scan so we can just click here and yeah so just a moment yeah so it is uh, connected and now it shows connected and just give it a give it a while So as you can see here that it is showing that uh, there is a sensor yeah and it is ready so give it a while and we can click on this uh, click on this get a new glucose reading so if uh, this is working fine then it is okay as you can see you got a new reading and this is working perfectly fine and now once if it is okay then it is fine otherwise you just take it off and do it from the other side so now if it is not working from this side uh, you can take it off put a new tape and do it from this side okay and now to secure this you don't need anything just you're going to put a small tape at the back end so you know when you're putting on or taking off clothes so this doesn't get disconnected so you don't have to put a body tape or you know uh, athletic tape uh, any simple surgical tape uh, you know we're going to put here and that is that will do the job and uh, this stays on for 14 days so uh, i have really you know found this to be the best solution and is not very inconvenient so now i'll ask ekta to put a small small tape uh, just on the back side of this and uh, that's all and it uh, stays on for 14 days So friends as you can see that uh, this is uh, pretty straightforward and now you know just this is perfectly fine and not very inconvenient so that is that is the that is the easiest way to do it one more thing i like to point out in case uh, like you know i managed to get it here in the first time itself in case you are having trouble with this you can do a few things so one thing you can do is that this back of this is actually a kind of a reset thing so uh, in case you want to reset the bubble sensor it is not working you can uh, simply uh, go here and you can just forget the device so it is forgotten the device now and you can reset this device you don't have to take it off uh, you know many people think that uh, in the box there is actually this uh, the small pin here to reset this but you don't have to take it off this itself is a reset thing so if you just swipe this over here the back of this you will see that a light just came on i'll show you again see so this resets the device okay and after it is a reset so again uh, very simple we can click on add cgm abbott scan click on this uh, bubble and uh, yeah so now you see it is connected you see it is connected and it is going to take a reading like a 140 second So uh, friends, I hope that uh, you found this valuable. So I have also been able to actually set up the Android loop. So this is my this is my uh, this is my Android based looping system. So this uh, actually is a great thing. It has helped me manage my blood sugar. So you can see here that uh, the system automatically uh, you know injects uh, insulin. It adjusts the basal 
so that uh, in the night time i don't have to worry about you know my sugars going too high or too low and uh, this is pretty complicated to set up so i'm going to do a whole video on how to do this step by step